An interesting choice for a meeting with your supervisor's supervisor. Or is that just a habit of yours? <laughs> Clever. But what you don't seem to understand is that we now have civilians discussing a subject that you don't even have clearance to talk about. Our organization has managed to keep this dark for hundreds of years. And if you think I'm about to let some suburban receptionist... I beg your pardon. Office manager. Really, agent? That's how you'd like to play today's meeting. Although I have as much regard for detail as the next person, I do think it's a bit excessive to quibble over whether the person who's about to undo the very fabric of our society is the one who answers the fucking phones in her office or the one who orders the pencils. You know what? No. We can't discuss this here in my office. You know one of them is probably already on their way to talk to her. We don't need them tracking us any faster. We have secure rooms for conversations like this. Follow me. Shh. No, no. Honestly. Just wait. The whole point of relocating is to prevent the... Well, I'm not sure if you even know the current vernacular come to that. I imagine you've been referring to them as ghosts. No, you're right. You don't have the clearance level necessary to go in here. But all I have to do is... Huh. Would you look at that? You've just been elevated to the Order of Conservator, with all the rights and privileges therein, including the use of the Level 1 conference rooms. Any other objections? Good. Let's go. Authenticate. Carol West. Well, this is it. Everything you'd hoped it'd be, more. There's not much to it, I know, but that's the idea. Limited circuitry as little metal as possible. The sound from the water features prevents them from picking up our voices in the event they hack the system, which they've never done. But we have to be prepared, don't we? Their poor little senses just aren't made for this world, so all it takes is a little fountain. It's the simple things. Now, back to the task at hand. You've heard the term commutation, I assume. Perhaps when you were sitting in at some meeting with more important people. Well, now that you're moving up in the world, conservator, it's time you understood what that meant. Clever little thing, aren't you? Well, then, by all means, educate me. Give me the answers I need about Miranda Mitchell. How does she know what she knows? Really? You don't think? <laughs> well, isn't that exactly the issue we're having today? You just don't think. <laughs> Playback record 34-72B. I went back and I looked and it, it looks like every time something bad happened to me, something good happened to you. And that's not all because it looks like every time something bad happened to you, something good happened for me. Does that sound like not a problem to you? <laughs> now we're getting somewhere. I have your attention, finally. We've managed to keep them all separate since the commutation. But right here, just down the road from these offices, pair across the street from one another tell me how does that happen and more importantly 
What are you going to do about it? We have fail-safes in the Realty databases. We monitor every registry of every kind, or at least that's what you agents and recently promoted former agents are meant to be doing. What I want you to do is find everyone involved and figure out how the hell this happened. No, you... You can't let either of them get to Riojas. Because as soon as she puts her wild ideas in their heads, they're as good as counted in that ridiculous underground clubhouse for lunatics. Except that then the two of them will be hard evidence for the thing those nutcases have been trying to prove for years. I don't know. Figure it out. That's your job. The last time something like this happened... There was no last time. Not while I was an agent, anyway. But I can share my experience from when something almost this bad happened. Sit down. I'll tell you the story of how I earned my command here. No, you don't know. That's exactly the point. We kept everything dark. Light through darkness, right? But I'll give you the abstract. One of them... No, not a pair of humans. Like I said, that has never happened before. It is one of the... One of the anima made its way onto a live broadcast. A significant live broadcast with a large audience. You would think that, wouldn't you? So did I. They should be on our side, but it seems that any time they show up, we get nothing but trouble. Well, I handled it. That particular one was causing quite a fuss. It needed to be cut off. So I did. Conservator, am I sensing a little queasiness? It's not like they're people, you know. No, of course not. We shouldn't assume they're all bad. Like I said, by rights, they should be on our side. Light through darkness means we should have all the information we need. And they're very good at getting information. If you find one and you manage to hmm, train it, Perhaps you could even domesticate one of the little things. It certainly would make our job much easier. And we need all the help we can get. Because it seems our agents are in need of a great deal of assistance, don't you think? Right. So, Find out everything that Mitchell and her little friend know, and I do mean everything. And do it before they locate that demented, deposed hippie with the rotting doctoral degree. Oh, of course. By all means. If you feel you concentrate better in here, then please figure out your little plan surrounded by a few nice waterfalls. I know. Things get a lot more hostile out in the field. <laughs>